Hey, don't let your mother smell that beer on your breath. She'll take it out on me. Craig, and this is your parents' beer review. Hello. Hello. And today we have a special beer review. Um, we have a local beer from a brewery here outside of Columbus in Worthington, Ohio, called Zaftig. And uh, this beer I picked up this morning, um, and it was being bottled at the time I got there. Oh, wait so a it's, minute! It's, Why don't you it's say totally fresh? Um, you so bought. this, so this is the first time they've bottled their beers today. And I, today. I and who was the, there to I get their there. very first case? Yes, me. And I purchased the first case. Totally coincidental. Totally coincidental. He, he didn't plan that. It just happened that way. Yeah, it just happened. So I bought the first case of the beers that they've ever bottled. So this is number one. Um, and this may be the first bottle. I don't know for sure since it's been a few hours since I actually picked it up. Um, but we're going to pop this puppy open. And... Look at that. What and happened? we're gonna drink it. It just spun. There's their label. Zaftig. Zaftig. So this is called Black Pearl. Zaftig. And tell us more about Black Pearl. Well, it's a nine percent stout. Stout. Um, I believe they have a barrel aged version of this, but right now they're just doing their regular Black Pearl. Um, Zaftig has a number of beers um, that they come out with in two cans. Their IPA is incredible. It's yeah. Very good. They have. They it's have, a double IPA. Actually. They have a lot of beers. We've become pretty fond of their their beers. Actually, we're pretty fond of them, Jim. And uh, you'll know him because he always wears a camouflage hat. And then here's Brent. And Brent is a huge stout fan. Hire the ABB to have areas to hang out with you. The thing I like about their beers is they're very flavorful. Um, nice profile. They have very, very great palates. Very, very good brews. Anyway, so they're starting up. Um, they've been distributing kegs to the um, local establishments here in the Columbus area. And now they just began bottling. So today is the first day they released any of their bottles. And they've just been open for a little over a year. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, they just had their one-year anniversary party not too long ago. So um, we like their beers. We think um, everybody should start to know about them. Um, so we're going to do a review about Zaftig. them. Zaftig. Zaftig. Spell it for them. Z-A-F-T-I. And I can't remember the story of why they chose the name. I think it's like a blend of something. like. I'm sure if they watch words. this video, they'll tell us that. <laughs> They'll probably Why? comment on it. Yeah. I don't Ooh, think they ever look watched at our that. videos. Oh my goodness. It's so dark, it's a, dark, dark with a beautiful, what I always I say. I can smell it already. The head looks like a planet. Well, it but this like Mercury. quickly. So I talked to Brent this morning when I picked it up, and he was saying these Ooh. should be able to age. Two so three I have I have a case. So I got 12 bottles. Um, you didn't I'll, dissipate I'll, that quickly. Gonna, Yours did. How come mine didn't? I don't know. I'm gonna oh, put, you poured first. I'm going to put five bottles down. I'm going to try to spoil so, this puppy. Oh, look at that. It's, I got it's some, very black. Um, I got, I got black a centrifuge brown. thing going again. Yeah, I should probably spill it. Um, you know what this looks like? Like peanut, when you're making peanut brittle and you put the, the baking soda in the caramel and it foams up, it looks a lot like that. Yeah, so it's very dark, you can see. I want to tell you that. It's very roasty. Um, you can see the, the head on this, which there was. It's, it's a very brown head. It's very pretty, actually. Very, uh... I don't, nice we, we've beer. never had it bottled. We've only had it on draft. We've only had it on draft. So this is the first time for us to actually taste it out of a bottle. It and says, starts with a delicious aroma derived from pearl and centennial hops that the balance is the sweetness from the chocolate and caramel, barley creating a smooth, easy drinking, and balanced, full-bodied beer. Well, we now know that Annette can read very well sitting down. A couple down. of college degrees, it's amazing what can sitting, happen. Yes, yeah. yep, you but you can do it sitting down while holding a beer. Yeah. So, um, the interesting thing on this bottle is... Um, okay, you got to drink this thing because it's, it's like wearing... Pregnant women shouldn't drink this. Well, that's not my problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's not... They're, they're really. off! Okay, here we go. TMI. 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 All right, right so I've already it. tasted it. So you taste it. What do you say? Wow, I just this is this is a very roasty very stout. Very roasty, yes. If you like coffee too, this one is a is got a lot of coffee flavor for me. But I think it's more of the the dark chocolate flavor to it. It's not like dark, a sweet dark chocolate. Yeah, it's not a sweet milk chocolate flavor. It's more dark. There's bitterness here, kind of like a bittersweet chocolate. Um, it's not uh, heavy. It's just 
it, it would be great paired with something really sweet or a really sweet type of cheese. It would, the balance would be phenomenal. Um, very, very good mouthfeel. Um, good carbonation. Um, you know, when I, when I first tasted this, I almost thought, you know, it's been a while since I had it on tap. I almost thought it was a milk stout. First impression when it first. Well, I think of milk stouts as being very sweet. This is not a sweet well, stout. Well, there's a number of milk stouts we've Which had. Which I like. Aren't. I like non sweet stouts. I, 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 sometimes I think some stouts are just like the Russian Imperial stouts, especially when they're aged in bourbon barrel, are just a sweet fast. It's, it, it's, I like it's a, a dry, drier it, stout. It is a dry stout. And that is a drier stout. It's not overbearing. Good upfront flavors. There's a burntness to it. Mm -hmm. um, Roasted. Burnt equals roasted. No, when I roast, I don't burn it. I've seen you burn some roasts. You have burned some roasts, buddy. I've seen them. We won't even go there. All right. Um, Just saying. Yes, and they weren't roasted. I burnt the roast. <laughs> yes. Therefore, okay. there's a difference between burnt and roast. Moving back to the beer quickly. Yes, moving back to this. This uh, is, uh, gosh, I forgot how much I enjoy this beer. This is a great beer. It's very um, drinkable. If you are into heavy sweetness, this won't be your beer. If you appreciate a well devised, that's a good word, devised well palette of dryness, roasted chocolate. There's caramel there, Def but it's not over the definitely, top. Definitely dark chocolate. Yeah. It's uh, roasted, you know. I like it when you pop in your glass like that. It's just amazing. And then the first shoot we have going on here runs for the money. Number two, we're going to have. Yes, the Kentucky, Kentucky Derby, Derby is going on right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've always been a nut for that. But anyway, well, I've been a nut, period. No, it's a net, not nut. Um, this, nut. Is a, this is a solid beer. So what are we going to give this? I don't know. How many caps are you going to give it? You go first. I am going to give it, we go on a scale of one to five. I'm going to We're give, gonna give this. it a two. No, just joking. <laughs> Suckers! They <laughs> fell for it. Uh, I like this very much. It's a four. That means I'll buy it again. <laughs> Better. I bought 12 bottles. <laughs> and um, I would like to age it and see what's going to happen with it further down the road. So I, I adore it. It's great. I'm glad we have it. Love the brewery. They have so many fantastic beers. And this is really probably one of their, I'd say their Flagstaff, one of their Flagstaff beers. It's a Black Pearl. It's delicious. Well, a barrel-aged version of this would be... Ooh, it's a beaut. Yes. So tell me, what are you going to give it, dear? I'm going to give it four as well, because I've right. already done that on tap when I had it. Um, good beer. If you're in Columbus, in Worthington, stop over at Zaftig's. Um, tell Check them, them Craig and Annette sent you. Your parents' beer review. Your oh, parents, they know us. Don't worry. They don't know us as your parents' beer review, but they do know us as Craig and Annette. So uh, stop by, have a few, and uh, cheers. Take care, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Yes, don't forget to subscribe. Ding.